for over 10 years, primarily starting out shooting portraiture, street photography, and now more socially driven photography because I'm focused on my surroundings, my community. While I was out documenting all the different marches and protests, I noticed like there are two sides to how the protests are being occupied. There are people who are extremely passionate and that comes off as being aggressive and that isn't necessarily the case. Like when people are being killed, there really is no way of being nice about it. Me being the person who's there to document, I'm there to kind of be that unbiased perspective, but at the same time, my work is my feelings. I'm passionate about what I shoot and I stand behind what I photograph. I shot the protests uh, because I always felt a connection with Black Lives Matter. Being like a first generation Alabama American, I've always felt like my life in a sense was a very political thing. Growing up, I've been ridiculed or quit out because of my ethnicity. So I always felt like I understood that kind of pain and I wanted to kind of be an ally and use my voice in a way where if I have a platform, I can just push kind of that narrative where it's like, hey, look guys, you gotta really pay attention to this. Currently, one of my uh, inspirations is uh, photographer Gordon Parks. He just speaks about growing up as a black male in America and facing different adversities throughout life. I, I feel like I can relate. I feel like when I pick up a camera, I, I, I'm doing the same thing that he's doing in a sense. With activism, you're able to like see what's going on with photography. You actually get to understand how people are feeling. You also understand the aspect of the cops as well. So you actually get to have both the balance. And it also kind of allows people to connect because you're giving them the image where they can see what's truly going on. The media in throughout history, they've done such a poor job in regards to like twisting and turning the narrative of like people of color upset and finally saying that enough is enough. When things like photography or like you know people who record and video and stuff like that, they're doing it because basically the only people we trust to properly tell the story of whether like mistreatment uh, among people of color or like you know the protests, it has to be us. People shouldn't doubt the resource that they might have, uh, especially with photography. You can be on the streets and something important like the George Floyd incident, and you take out your phone, you photograph it or you record it, and once it's posted on the internet, everybody's going to be aware of that situation and what might injustice you have faced. Photography is an instrument. Right? Same way music can be, the same way film can be. They're all instruments to support the movement, to expand the movement. Those instruments can help open up some minds and you know, have people second guess what position they believe they're firmly planted in. These are things that just don't stop just because the media isn't covering it. There are still people on the, on the front lines, on the grounds, working really, really hard at this. Things really can't change until you lose the power that you're given to you know, its full capacity. That's it. That's all I got.